How are you doing guys, Zedi here. So I wanted to discuss this a little bit of an interesting feature that Sony's PlayStation business call or, you know, conference has happened recently. And one of the more controversial things relating that day one PC releases, especially that those games specifically are on PlayStation. But now that so many of the games that are getting an opportunity to be released on PC, a lot of people are, perhaps for good reasons of course, uh, mentioning it, just release your big titles on uh, PC day one as it was released for the PlayStation 5. And a lot of people just say like, okay, well, here's the proof, right? Helldivers 2 is an example. And so this is a ginormous success. And because of this, you should release your games, that's excluding just live service games, but also single player titles on your PlayStation 5 and of course the PC, right day and date on day one. Now, in my personal opinion, I think this is actually, well, it's just basically PC people talking that they want to have the best of games on their preferred platform first on day one and not gonna bother with you know picking up a console like as a PlayStation 5 as an example. I think that personally what PlayStation is doing is actually a good move because they explicitly mentioned that they are PlayStation business. They have nothing relating towards that. They want to cannibalize and go over the, all of the different platforms and to make sure that all their biggest and the best games are available like on Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch and whatnot. But no, in this case, they're actually seeing the opportunity of growing their PlayStation business, not just everything else. This is not Game Pass. So you have to understand that they're not gonna just see okay there's a actually a profit to be seen here let's actually put in all our big games on day one on pc like it was with a very big success such as like helldivers 2. helldivers 2 you have to understand is a fantastic game but what if it's a not very good game that comes out on playstation 5 and oh it's also gonna come out day one on pc right and the game is just well it was not a success helldivers 2 is one of those many different games that releases and it just kind of got lucky in a lot of cases as well and actually well the game is fantastic right so a lot of people are gravitating towards it it does not matter if it's on pc it does not matter if it's on playstation 5. i guarantee this one thing helldivers 2 would have been successful even without pc's day one launch as well now sure yes i do understand that a lot of people the majority of people perhaps even playing this game on uh, pc instead of the playstation 5. sure but with the success I'm talking about in general, I'm not talking about how many people are playing. So I think what PlayStation is doing here is a good move. I think that they want to grow their business. They even explicitly mentioned this themselves, that they want to concentrate on their hardware as well. They don't want to put all of their eggs into different baskets, if that makes sense. And they don't want to put all their big titles on two different platforms included. Now that they actually have already a lot of games that are going to be coming out on PC day one including the PlayStation 5 such as the live service titles and this is a benefit because there's going to be a lot bigger number count of people playing the game and you can have a cross play you know progression and playability that's fantastic this means you will be able to play together or against each other and while also uh, PC players will be able to play with the PlayStation 5 players so I think it's a win-win situation and I totally understand the reasoning here and PlayStation is a business it's just the name and title is there, PlayStation. Why would they want to concentrate all their time putting in like a Ghost of Tsushima as an example, like Ghost of Tsushima 2, and they also release this on PC on day one while it releases on PlayStation 5? They're not that dumb to do that because what they want to do is sell their consoles. They want to sell their PlayStation 5s, and it makes total sense. In this case, they want to release their big main title game, right? As an example, Ghost of Tsushima 2, that comes out in 2025 as an example, and then a year or perhaps two years later, they will release Ghost of Tsushima 2 on the PC. That's what they've been doing. It seems like it's working. And they even, well, I can't say that they're just like, not really seeing the profit there. Of course, I totally understand, but they see the future, they see the long road, and that is what matters. Not the short road. Sure, you're gonna get some bucks in that, but the long road is not gonna be there. There's not gonna be much profit in the long road. But nevertheless, I still think that this is actually a best move to do. PC people, if you want to experience these fantastic games, get a PlayStation 5 console. What's the issue? Now I get money, I get that, I totally understand. But if that's the case, wait. 
wait for a year or two until these games perhaps will come out on PC as well. What's the issue here? They can lose a lot of profit? Sure, I understand that, but they're doing this strategically, and it makes total sense why, at least to me it does. Now, per okay, okay, perhaps I should mention this as well. Maybe I'm just being biased because I'm a PlayStation fanboy, blah, 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 whatever. That, yeah, I prefer my console, my PlayStation 5 console, rather than anything else, even including the PC. But nevertheless, I still think this, in the strategy-wise of a business move, it makes sense. Uh, maybe just me? I don't know. I feel like perhaps maybe I'm being blinded by it because of the success of the PlayStation 5 and I have the best games that I can play day one. And that's fantastic for me, but I can see as well why people will be kind of frustrated, especially those that do not have the console, well, the PlayStation console. Sony is going a different direction compared to Microsoft is doing with their Xbox. Xbox is irrelevant now. What matters is Game Pass. You could even have no Xbox name and brand, it's because it's irrelevant. But now, Game Pass, the brand of that, the name of that, that's what matters, not Xbox. Game Pass, that's what matters. Microsoft is easy, that's why we might as well call it Microsoft Gaming, not Xbox. Xbox is non-existent at this point. They gave up because they're doing it with a different strategy. It makes sense, maybe they'll see some profit there, even though I don't really see it as well since the long run, they may actually lose more profit than actually gain, especially since they already announced that a Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 6 will be day one on Game Pass as soon as it releases. That might be a very big problem in the future run. We don't know, of course, that's maybe they're seeing some things that we are not yet seeing at least I'm not seeing. But nevertheless, what PlayStation is doing, they're doing this in the long run, and it means that if you want to play the best games that are released on day one on PlayStation 5, such as like Ghost of Tsushima 2, or the next God of War game, or the next Horizon game, then pick up the PlayStation 5 console. And because of this, PlayStation is going to get more profit, more revenue. It makes sense. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. I just want to sprinkle in here. PlayStation had a very interesting business call regarding this. And yeah, it kind of actually made it some lights and shining towards this. And uh, also regarding that PlayStation 4 users and the PlayStation 5 users is pretty much split 50-50. That's quite insane. I think it was like 49 million and 49 million on the PS4 and the PlayStation 5. That's quite insane, to be honest with you. It makes sense why Call of Duty and a lot of other uh, games are still releasing on the old-gen consoles. I personally think they need to stop Right, they need to concentrate all the time on this current gen consoles. Because honestly, all gen consoles are really holding back and there's so many limitations now with those consoles. Well, perhaps maybe in the two to three years when more people transition over to the new, well, current gen consoles, then we'll see more and more games are exclusively going to be coming out on the current gen consoles and of course PC. Anyway guys, just wanted to sprinkle in here all this information, tidbits, and just a little bit share my thoughts as well. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we are, well, at least I'm going to have a state of play thoughts, my reactions and all that great stuff, what to expect, what to see. And uh, thank you again so much for watching, like, and subscribe. See you guys, and have a wonderful day.